Hi everyone, welcome to chapter four, lead management. In the previous chapter, we talked about how to capture our leads. And in this chapter, we, talk, we will talk about how to actually manage them on my board. So let's go ahead and move to our board. This is our leads board. As you remember, I, I added two groups to mention the leads in progress and the unqualified leads. Um, we talked about the columns and we went over them in the previous video, but I'll just say that um, in case you want to add another column or customize the existing columns, delete them if they're not suitable with your use case, of course you can do that. And you can add more columns as I did here. I added um, a status column and I customized it to be uh, to indicate whatever I need it to be. So for example, I can uh, create this as a priority column and I can use the labels um, to mark them as high, um, medium, and low, right? So be creative, think about your use case, uh, think about the columns as your building blocks and check all of our columns here and see whatever fits your use case and your workflow, um, add it um, to make your workflow even more um, perfect. So um, uh, let's talk about the view. So as a reminder, now what we're seeing here is a table view. But as we mentioned before, Monday offers other useful views that you can check out here um, that lets you see your data in other visual ways, that lets you work in different ways. So for example, we have the Kanban view over here. And as we can see, this gives our sales reps the ability to work not in a table, but in a different way, in a Kanban. So they can just move it around um, between the different um, uh, groups that we see here, and it will actually move the label in my status column. So for example, I can work like this, and I know that I have a follow-up with Eliane, and once I talk to her, I can put all the details in, in here. And once I talk to her, I can move her into the contacted. And let's say uh, once I choose to qualify, I will move it to qualified. Now, what exactly is going to happen? So uh, let's move it back here. We can see here this status label. So this is what um, is changing in the Kanban. And of course, we can change it from here as well. Now, um, let's talk for a second about the qualified and unqualified. Um, when we want to, let's say, uh, qualify the lead, we can uh, change the status into qualified. And once we say, okay, this lead is not going to be a success, we can choose it as, as unqualified. By the way, we can add very simple automations to move it around between the groups automatically. So once I unqualify a lead, it will move to this group in the bottom. Now, what else is going to happen? So once we are ready and once we qualify the lead, we can click on move to contact. And what is going to happen is um, it will automatically move this lead into my contacts board. Um, now we are going to talk more thoroughly about um, contacts and account management in uh, the next chapter. Um, but let's take a quick look of what is going to happen. So once I click on move to contacts, um, this lead, as we said, will disappear and will move into my contacts board. Let's open it up to see how it looks like. So this is my contacts board. As you can see, Elian just moved into here and we can see all the information of Elian has moved with her, the title, her phone number, email address, the company, and any other um, information that I can add, of course. So once again, just to uh, sum up, we have a lead. Once we qualify it and we're ready to move on, we will move it into the contact so that a contact will be created. And then we are able to create a deal and connect it to the relevant contact that has been created. But again, more on that in the next chapter.